I got up this morning around I got up this morning around 5 o'clock, a little before, to go fishing at Lance Creek. Uh, I took my 14-foot Kentari, and I really didn't catch but three fish, but it was a very enjoyable trip. Uh, normally, the, the Tinkari is nothing more than a telescoping fishing pole. Uh, and you just tie a piece of line on the end of it. Normally, if you've got a 14-foot Tinkari, you'll have a 14-foot line as an absolute minimum. But uh, if you're in big open water, you can go on up to maybe 20 feet or something other end. Basically, you use it like a fly rod. Uh, Lance Creek was so tight, you have to have an overhead clearing to cast, even with a Tinkari. Uh, if you can't lift the rod straight up, you can't get the line out of the water to roll it back up the creek and stuff. So after fooling with a 13 foot line for several holes and uh, I finally shortened the line down to about five feet and that was the way I was able to fish a little bit with it. Right here you see me pushing the line in or the rod in and that's so you can travel through some dense woods or vegetation or something other. You can't hardly thread a 14 foot rod uh, through the you know, weeds and stuff here. Uh, I did get one fish on on film or camera. The other two I didn't have a camera on. Right here, I'm extending the rod out to get ready to fish a little bit here. Uh, the biggest fish was about 10 inches, which is really, really good brown for a stream this size. And the other two were maybe six, maybe not that big. 20, 25 years ago, this creek was just absolutely full of little browns, but nobody bothered with them. They were just too small to fool with and stuff. Uh, I caught a 24-inch brown out of where this creek runs into Jones Creek a couple of miles down. A little bit bigger water. And that's where we always fish, but uh, things have changed a lot. The, the fishing in Lord Jones is, is very poor and it's really gone downhill in the upper sections of Jones and Lance, but there's still a few fish in there, or there's three anyway. And I was fishing with a dry fly. I could have probably caught a few more fish if I'd used a nymph or a woolly worm, but I just really enjoy seeing the fish come up and take the take the lure. So I'm right now till I change my mind I'm resigned to fishing with dry flies. With the short line it's not really fly fishing, I don't think. It's it's uh you just you just pretty much throw the line a foot or two above the tip of the rod and then you get a drift with your rod by moving it uh, downstream for the fish in there and hope you get a fish. The cover 
in this street, uh, this stream, Lance, is you've just got stuff overhead so much that it's just very, very hard to get a decent cast. This is sort of an open place right here, and I believe if there was nothing overhead, a 13 foot leader would do really well, and you could throw it about 13 feet up the hole and have 14 on the rod, and that's almost a 30 foot cast, which is uh, a good cast for a fly rod, you know, and stuff. I didn't see a single fish, though, that I scared uh, wading up the creek or anything, and very few holes but what you could see the bottom in. So I just, I really don't think the fish are there. I'm taking the rod down now again to, to move on to a different place. When you have a 13 foot line, you have to roll it up a little bit, but with about a five or six foot line, you can just uh, leave the rod sticking out maybe six feet and, and work on it that way. This is the hole that I caught a the 9 or 10 inch brown out of. I turned the camera on and fished it again, but I didn't catch anything else. If you scale with a fly rod, you might do a little bit better. Uh, it, it really depends on the hole. Though. Some holes you can only fish it with a very short line. Uh, if, you've, if you've got room, to bring the rod up overhead and stuff, even if there's overhanging bushes, you can slingshot it, uh, use, hold your line, and uh, shoot it in there with uh, with uh, bent rod, and that's that's real easy to do, and uh, that's a good way to fish if they just overhanging cover. Uh, over the hole, but again, you got to be able to lift the rod and uh, uh, to cast with a fly rod or tinkari, either one. I think here is where I filmed the fish that I caught. I was straightening the line out there. You can see it come up sort of at the end of the hole down here. Didn't get him on the first cast. See him come up there? so short I had to move the rod in to be able to catch the line here. I had a tough time getting the hook out. I like to forgot to wet my hand before I caught the fish. get him back in the water as quick as he could. I think he would be fine. 